Hey guys, Subzy Kid here with a Cinema 4D tutorial, and in today's tutorial, what I'm going to be showing you is my like professional studio lighting setup, kind of. And basically, I'm going to start making more Cinema 4D tutorials, and it's highly likely that I'm going to be using this lighting setup. So instead of showing this lighting setup, how to do it in every single Cinema 4D tutorial, I can just link you to this video, and it will just save time in the other videos. So yeah, um, in Cinema 4D, let's quickly change the uh, scene size to 1080p or 720p if you wish. So 1080, 1920 by 1080, or uh, 1280 by 720 if you want 720p. And let's just quickly make some text. So I'm just gonna make, get a mo text, and I'm just gonna put subs like so. I'm gonna put the depth to 100, and I'm gonna change the font to a cool looking font so lot and what I'm gonna do is just quickly put a really nice bevel effect on it so first of all I'm just gonna quickly align it to the middle and I'm just gonna make a really nice bevel effect on this text so um, if we just increase the horizontal spacing slightly like so uh, yeah that's about right um, go on to the caps and on the start uh, put a filler cap on the end, put a filler cap and on the steps put 4 radius 4 centimeters, steps 4 radius 4 centimeters like so and then after you've done that uh, duplicate the Motex, so control C, control V and on Motex 1 go on object and make the depth 75 so 3 quarters and then go into the top view like here and just put it back in the middle like so and then just go back into the perspective view and then if we go back onto the normal mode text, our original mode text, and then go on to caps and then just hit constrain like so and if you look at that it gives a really nice bevel effect and I love using this. It just looks really nice. Gives a really nice effect. So um now that we've made our text really, um we can make our lighting. So first of all if we just make a target light like so and then on gen on the general tab make the type to area and on the shadow maps make it shadow map soft and then in details make the size x 2500 and size y 2500 and it will give it and basically it will just give us a massive light plane like that and ooh film vibration uh, um, basically just you want to check showing reflection um, it will just add to the effect and basically if we just zoom out a bit and take it back a tad and slightly around like so um, and now if we go back onto the general tab give this color a light bluish color a really nice light turquoisey blue so about there like that and then if you click on the light hit control C control V you get light dot one and basically just whip it around the other side like so like this and you would just have like two lights like so and we can just maybe move this up and back a bit and basically on light dot one change the color to a purplish color like so light purplish pinky purpley like that and that's about right like that and basically what you want to do is we can just move the no the first light around a bit slightly like that um, and now on light dot one hit control C and control V to, mi uh, to duplicate it and if we just move it around the back like so we can just move it even more around and maybe bring it in slightly and over the top more like that and basically if we change the color to a nice lime green a light lime green like so and hit ok and basically these colors are going to give a real atmosphere a real like proper real type of atmosphere um, to the whole scene so like anything you're doing you'll give a really nice atmosphere to it um, and 
yeah, as you can see at the moment, if we just render it, it doesn't look amazing. Um, that's because we need to make some material. So we can, to make a material, either go create new material, or just double click here in this area, and just double click on the material, on the color, make the color just. We're gonna make this material a nice gloss, a uh, really nice glossy white. So you can just make this about that like that, and go on reflection, check it, and change the texture to Fresnel and we can make the brightness 25 and the mixture 25% as well and then that's going to give us a nice glossy white and we can use this to make the main face of the text and make another material and on material.1 on the color uh, change the uh, change the texture to Fresnel and then click on this little gradient box here and then change the colors to something like pretty nice so a nice kind of gradient uh, I'm gonna choose a nice light blue and then make it go into a nice kind of pinky purpley color ish like so um, maybe if we move that down like that so there's a bit more blue and if we make the purple a bit darker like so and now on reflection just check it and on texture go to Fresnel and then go brightness um, let's go 35 and mix strength 35 like so and now we can just apply that to the edge like that and now this is it really um, on the render settings that on the render settings there is no need for um, ambient occlusion or global illumination the thing you can do is if you go on anti-aliasing make it best and make the filter Mitchell or something and basically this is it really it as you can see it kind of lights the back since the back lights are green like say if you've got some motion graphics and you're like spinning around some text or something the back of the text will be like slightly green or something this is the lighting I used in my um, intro at the beginning and if you see at the beginning the back of the text slightly orangey because the back light slightly orange and it just looks really nice so if I render this you're, you're just gonna get turned on I mean just look that is like that's just amazing really well in my opinion anyway it's just like it's like the reflections are really nice there's no ambient occlusion or global illumination it's like a wait it's like a second render time to render that out because of no global illumination and stuff it's just really nice and like if you go around the back it's and render it out quickly you see it's slightly greeny um, it adds a whole lot of atmosphere using the colors of course you can use different colors um, different colors um, change the reflection amount on the materials and all together you can add like more lights as well and all together you just get an amazing lighting set without any global illumination it's really well constructed and yeah I'm just blabbing like blabbling now blabbing blabbing off I don't know it's just really nice I think and I use this in basically all Cinema 4D work I do so um yeah I just that was my lighting setup really my like really nice professional lighting setup um, so that's about it so thanks for watching guys don't forget to rate like drop a like uh, comment below uh, any like constructive criticism or anything or even favorite if you really like this and it helped you out a lot um, also if you have any questions about this like if you're wondering anything or if you want to request a tutorial because I'm kind of running out of ideas um, then yeah tweet me at subzikid or just comment below or yeah message me so thanks for watching guys see you